another exciting day in the studio about to put some embroideries on <laughs> i had a great day yesterday um i'm glad i cut my day short knocking out these jobs because i got a nice recharge from going over to brian's place and seeing all the progress that he made with his shop and his business and watching Rakoma get his machines together and stuff speaking of they're there today again over at his shop helping set up his 2402t o2t and they'll be with me on Friday rectifying the issue with my 2402T. So um, Friday is the last day, by the way, guys, and I'm offering the uh, $4 DTF deals on my website, alanaway.com. So uh, get your DTFs. You guys have not been putting, not that many people have been taking advantage of it, but don't worry. Um, I'll have some other sales coming up soon, but it won't be like that. All right, so um, today I came in the studio and I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I'm going to put this to embroider right now for a client. Uh, I have those uh, shoes that I have to finish. I'm going to make a video on those vans, me pressing those vans. It's very, very hard. I did like three of them so far. Got to do another three because I want to collect the rest of the money from a client. All right, and then I have to update my uh, marquee. I got to go on Rokoma's website to see how to update the marquee. I think you got to download um, the update to a flash drive and put it on there. I've been trying to update it wirelessly, but it's not working. Also, I'm shooting a video for you guys right now. Um, give you a sneak peek. Uh, my sister went and got some stuff made via Vistaprint when I told her I could have made them myself, but she's always like, you're so busy. I don't want to put anything else on your plate. Their promotional business cards. So today I went to Staples and I got some card stock and I'm going to make a bunch of these business cards myself on my white tone transfer printer. So stay tuned for that video. Um, also, what I do, uh, what else do I do today? Oh yeah, the DTF is in the back of the studio and we're printing up a whole lot of random DTF designs because what I've noticed is as people come in here to pick up their products, they're like, what else do you got? They look around and they're like, what else do you got? Either they buy like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something, or they buy DTF. So I'm making sure I have a bunch of random DTFs in stock. So as customers come in to pick up their DTFs, right. they see some other DTFs that they want and they purchase those DTFs and that's how I get extra sales. So um, that's a good piece of advice for you guys to have some stuff on hand so that when your customer comes to pick up their stuff, they see some other stuff and that's nice upsell. If you have the business where people pick up stuff in person, that's excellent. Also that HTV Romp Press, for those of you guys that saw the video yesterday I dropped on that, um, you gotta use a code to get an additional discount off. The code is in the description of that HTV Romp Auto Press video. I forgot to mention that in the video, so um, uh, go to that video and look in the description of that video if you guys want that Auto Press. Because and all, another thing I didn't mention about that press is, it's a great press, lightweight to take and press on the go. So those of you guys that want to make some extra money, if you have a vending event or something like that, or if you're, I don't know, out of the park chilling, maybe you could do it. Um, take some DTFs with you, take some shirts with you, and give the pressing experience, right? You got to have an electric generator, obviously, or your car has to have a plug that the press can plug into and you guys can press on the spot and sell shirts on the spot. So that's an idea for business right there. So um, yeah, let's put this on the machine so we can get started with this. One of you guys were asking in the comments, and I told you I had to do an experiment to see, and so far it's working out fine. What I'm talking about is 
the fact that uh, initially I had my shaker oven positioned really, really close to the printer. If you can see now, it's spaced out a little bit and there's a little gap between the printer and the shaker oven. And what was happening is I would set it and forget it, so to speak, and let it print. But eventually it would get a little bit tangled up kind of sorta. And um, the print head would start rubbing up against the sheet when it was printing and that would ruin a print. So I had to stop it. I had to raise the bar in the back, let it level out to be flat and put it back down. But now, as it is right now, um, with the little space, I think that little space in between um, lets it maintain its flatness. Uh, so I just put a little bit of space, made sure it was lined up perfectly. And so far, I've been printing all morning and haven't had any issues yet. So I hope that can help you guys out if you're experiencing that issue that I was experiencing. Since we got this R2 Pro, guys, it's been running great like a beast. I'm running it every single day printing out stuff that I need, printing out stuff that I, that I uh, wanna entice customers to buy um, while they're in here, but it, it's just, it's been a workhorse like crazy so far, and I'm just using it every day, trying to just, uh, you know, trying to, trying to put it through its paces as much as I can so that you guys can not only see it work, but you guys can determine if it's a good fit for your business. Um, and I just wanna print with it every day to see how much it can take and so far it's 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 going guys it's i gotta admit it's really impressing me a lot another thing that i really like and i appreciate about it is the fact that it prints 13 inches wide because i when i get since i've been getting dtf orders you don't always want to use a 24 inch printer to print out a 13 inch design so that's why i say a 13 inch printer is a perfect complement for somebody or a shop that has a 24 inch printer because you're kind of covering both things because you're gonna have customers that order 13, 12 inch, 11 inch, 10 inch designs. And if you, if you only have one DTF printer that prints 24 inches, you gotta start it up to print, you know, what if you got an odd number, like three DTFs, right? So three DTFs easily like this, three DTFs on a 24 inch printer, 10 by 10, 11 by 11, you can stack them side by side, but then that third one it's printing by itself. So what I used to do is I used to take a, a image, a random image that I have that I'm gonna, you know, use eventually and put it next to a customer's order and print that out and cut that out. But it's a perfect compliment just to run this and not run the 24 inch printer. Just something to think about. All American Print Supply Co. Description, I mean, uh, link in the description at the bottom, affiliate link, yeah. As I'm letting that embroider, I am also waiting on a delivery from wholesaler Alpha Builder to um, drop off some, it's two varsity jackets and a bunch of collar shirts for my first order, my first batch of orders for the school. So I hope that gets here today, uh, along with some hats, some hats for a cleaning company that I'm supposed to embroider a logo on. So I hope that gets here today so I can knock it out but that's gonna be it. I think that's all I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna knock out, yeah, I'm gonna knock out these vans too and, um, and finish shooting that video for you guys, but that's pretty much gonna be my day. Uh, yeah, the machine is still back there. A3 Plus R is still back there getting going crazy. But yeah, having a good time in the shop. A subscriber or a follower on Instagram asked me, Alan, when do you, all, when do you take off? It seems like you're always on the grind. And I responded by saying, by letting her know that I enjoy coming in here and playing with my toys. I don't look at this as work because I love making stuff on an embroidery machine. I love printing out and pressing DTS. I love making shirt. I love creating art. It's, it's, it's a stress reliever for me. So I don't really look at this as work because I have such a good time while I'm in here. Um, today is a sunny day, so I do want to get out and get some sun, so I'm not going to spend too much time in here. I think after my client and comes and picks up their DTFs, I'm going to head out of here. But uh, other than that, I don't look at this as work, and I enjoy making these videos as well. I'm one of the few people that, my degree is in digital film video production, I'm one of the few people that um, actually uh, do what it is that they went to school for. And even though I only do it 
on a what some would consider a, um, a, 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 a consumer level because I'm not a this production right here that I'm bringing to you is not on a huge platform but some might argue that YouTube is a huge platform but you don't need a degree to make YouTube videos but I am able to supplement my living by doing what it is that I went to school for and that's a good thing some people went to school for one thing and they never do it at all and they do something totally unrelated to what they went to school for so I'm blessed in that capacity I'm blessed to get up every morning and do what it is that I love doing and I'm blessed to uh, have people around me that are interested in the same things so they can keep me motivated and yesterday was definitely a bunch of motivation and what I needed to kind of like rejuvenate my battery all right so that's all I got for you guys right now stay tuned for the white toner transfer video where I'm showing you guys how to print postcards as well as business cards on the iColor 650 white toner transfer printer. That printer is crazy, guys. It can do so much, and I'm just scratching the surface, so stay tuned for more. Talk to you guys later. Literally later in the next video. <laughs>